another odd tester I found while raking through some old electrical stuff. When I was young, I just kind of bought lots of test equipment, just novel things. And this, I thought this was going to be a non-contact voltage tester, but it's much simpler than that. If you watch the LED, if you hold this metal end and you touch the other end, a red LED light, so I'm guessing ultimately it's just a sort of hand contact continuity tester or fuse tester. Oh, there's a fuse. Hold on. Let's test the fuse. So shielding this from lights, so you can actually see it. If I touch it, you can see the LED glows very dimly. It's super dim. That's okay. Again, it's very old. It, uh, and this came from Mafflin Electronics in the UK. Oh, but, uh, 0702, which is before they'd even added the one. So this is ancient. Now, I have preemptively removed the screw from here because it was all chewed up. I don't know if I opened this when I was young. I probably did to see what was inside. But certainly it's not been opened for decades. Now, if I take the end off it, it unscrews and it's quite nice actually. The end is kind of machined and it's also got a separate battery connector that bridges across the end of the battery onto the little side contact, which is nice. So if I take the two triple A's out, the recently purchased triple A's, I don't know if I'm going to get this end off. Hold on, I'm just going to try and wiggle that with a pair of pliers. I'm not too bothered about saving this because uh, it is one of these things that uh, it's not something I'd really use these days. I'd use a tester. Is this going to come off? Is it going to unscrew? Is it going to come off at all? It's going to, it's friction fitted. It's got a spring. Okay. Now let's pop it apart. There's one transistor. Okay. This is very reminiscent of those pens you get, the voltage tester pens. I wouldn't actually use this to test live connection. Certainly not on 240 volts. Uh, is this going to come out? It's barged across. It's just really crude. But then yeah, that's just really the sort of things that Maplin would occasionally sell. Ah, we all miss Maplin. It was an electronic supplier in the UK that kind of went out of business because, well, the cost of property rent went up with the, their high street shops and they couldn't really compete with that. Uh, this is not coming out easily. I tell you what, I'll wiggle it out and then... Oh, it's out. And then I'll... Oh, God, blame me, it's got three resistors. How exciting. And a transistor. Uh, I shall reverse engineer this and we'll see what the circuitry is like. One moment, please. The reverse engineering is done. Let's explore. The most notable thing about this circuit is it uses a single transistor here, but that is actually an MPSA14, which is a Darlington transistor. It uses two NPN transistors that are cascaded. And what that means is that if this one multiplies by 100, then whatever current you put in here gets multiplied by that 100, but then it feeds straight into the base of the next transistor, and that gets multiplied by 100 again. So it gives a compound amplification of something like 10,000, is that? That would be about 10,000 gain, uh, which is very impressive. And the way it works now is that it's the input is pulled down to the zero volt rail on this pen via a one mega ohm resistor. And then there's a 100K resistor connected up to one of the pads. One pad is the battery connection, the positive connection. So it's positive. The other pad, and they're nicely machined pads, is connected to that 100k resistor so when you bridge those two pads current flows gets amplified up and then it lights this led via a 100 ohm resistor and the one way this could be improved these days is just by replacing that uh, with a brighter led because again this is ancient it's really old and leds have increased in efficiency massively since this was first made but it's nice it's a lovely retro vintage style circuit. Well, it's a vintage product from the era that you'd have found stuff like that. And uh, the closest relation these days is those voltage testing screwdrivers that have the little stack of button cells inside and the LED in a little sleeve inside the screwdriver. And they work on a similar basis, but this resistor here is rated for, well, hopefully it's rated for mains voltage, so that when you touch the tip of the screwdriver to a live connection, it will make the LED glow, but it will also glow when you actually touch the end of the screwdriver and the tip for continuity testing. That's literally evolved from this original style of product. But it's very pleasingly retro. It's just nice that it comes from that era that the 
circuitry was just so minimalist that you could buy these components off the shelf. It's completely serviceable as such and hackable for making that brighter with a modern LED. Quite nice. Really a smart little unit.